Thank you. Uh, I'm uh, Alberto Saravalle. I'm a professor of uh, European Union law in the University of Padua. Uh, and uh, I also been practicing lawyer and uh, been writing uh, uh, many articles and books with Carlos Tagnaro. Hello, uh, I'm Carlos Tagnaro. I'm research director at Instituto Bruno Leoni, which is a free market oriented think tank based in Milan. Uh, I also uh, um, regularly uh, write uh, uh, editorial comments for uh, the daily magazine, Italian daily magazine Il Folio, and I often uh, write with Alberto. Well, the book is a sort of history, economic history of the last 30 years in Italy, what we call normally the Second Republic, uh, from 92 to today, and through the lens of the reforms, so the structural reforms everybody talks about, what has been done, what has not, especially what has not been done, or what was done and then was uh, deleted, and why that is so, why are, Italy has not been able to grow in the last 30 years. First of all, we wanted to, to understand why uh, Italy has been stagnating so, so much uh, in the past 30 years. Uh, everybody agrees uh, about what are the uh, economic uh, uh, reasons why Italy has not been growing. Um, lack of productivity, uh, um, capital misallocation, uh, uh, high taxation, bad performance of the public sector, and so on and so forth. Uh, but there is a lot of discussion regarding uh, why Italy, differently from other uh, EU member states, has not been able to fix uh, all of these problems along this time. Uh, so the, the, the standard answer that most Italians would provide is that we uh, never uh, uh, did the reforms that we, we were supposed to do. Uh, but in fact, uh, uh, this book shows that we uh, tried many times to, to do that. And as Alberto said, we also tried uh, way too many times uh, to undo what we had done. Well, uh, the key message of the book uh, is that uh, reforms are not merely a structural, uh, not really uh, a technical thing. Uh, reforms uh, imply choices, values, and what has been missing in our view uh, has been a, a sort of a, a true political debate, uh, some leadership, somebody that invested uh, his or her um, political capital to promote uh, reforms. So to a large extent, reforms that had been done uh, uh, have been done only with the excuse, well, we, we, we wouldn't really like to do them, but uh, the European Union asks us to do it, uh, and so we have to do them. And that uh, has created a large anti-Europe sentiment, and uh, to a large extent has uh, not made them popular. So if something is uh, not popular, is uh, people don't understand uh, why we should do them, why they are important to secure not only uh, our life, but our children's life, our future, then it's difficult to, to implement them. To summarize, I think we had many laws adopted, but very few reforms approved. And by saying so, I mean uh, structural changes in the society. And that what has been missing in our view. What we hope to achieve uh, is uh, to create a real debate about this, to understand what happened and to remind everybody that this is a political issue. We need values. We come from a, a liberal standpoint and we would like to promote that in the public discourse. The, book, uh, the, the book's underlying thesis is that, uh, uh, as Spider-Man would say, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, the Italian ruling elites in the past uh, 30 years uh, had, of course, great power, but they did not uh, exercise it uh, uh, responsibly. And so they tried to, to achieve whatever uh, uh, they could in terms of uh, um, deploying uh, uh, popular reforms, but tried to, to blame uh, some external sources such as the European Union uh, 
or the, 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 the bad Germans and the other Northern Europeans for whatever unpopular reform, at least in the short run. And, and, and so they, uh, by, by doing so, they created a situation whereby uh, whenever we made a step forward, for example, with the pension reform in 2011, uh, then there was a sort of uh, 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 miscontent uh, uh, after which uh, uh, um, the, the reform would be uh, undo in the next few years, uh, as we did with, with the pension in several steps and most not notably uh, in uh, uh, under the uh, Lega uh, Five Stars government uh, in 2021. Uh, so the, the, the main argument of the book, in a way, is that uh, policymakers should put their face on, on their ideas. And they also should explain how uh, they want to achieve the goals they promised during the electoral campaigns. Otherwise, uh, uh, nothing is going to work. And this is why uh, uh, Italy, uh, 30 years after, is not very far from, we, from where we were in 1992, while most of the other EU member states have made a very, very long way. The book is so far is uh, only in Italian, but we hope uh, will be uh, eventually translated into English uh, and it's available in all uh, online platforms uh, uh, where it can be uh, purchased uh, from Amazon to anyone else. Uh, plus, of course, all the bookstores in Italy and um, supposedly abroad, if you can order it. We will send you both books. I mean, both this one and, and, and the other one. I mean, and, and, and you can speak and read Italian very fluently. So, so uh, uh, hopefully you will be able to, to uh, either like it, like them or, or, or dislike them. I don't know. <laughs> you will tell. But there is a, 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 there are different ways. Uh, uh, these are two books that are not really related to a particular time. You know, there are, in a way, we like to think of them as long sellers because the, the, the book about uh, the first one, Contro il Sovranismo Economico, it's uh, a pamphlet against national uh, or economic uh, nationalism, uh, which obviously has some references to facts that arrive up to 2020 when it was published, but it's still there for whatever, you know, it, uh, it describes. And in fact, not so much has changed and this one uh, again it's something which is uh, hel uh, should help to understand the italian uh, recent history but uh, it, it's you know it's, it, it's a little bit unrelated from the particular moment it it, it helps to, to focus on a general topic it's not just history mm -hmm.